dinosaurs. Why are they in WoW? Why does Blizzard seemingly bend over backwards to put him in everything? Dinosaurs are one of the most unique creatures in World of Warcraft, but no one really has a good explanation as to why they are here. Raptors can be found in dungeons as trash, while Devilsaurs often pose as bosses throughout the world. The most notable places to have dinosaurs are the Ungoro Crater, Sholzar Basin, the Ego Dome, and the Isle of Giants. Both Ungoro Crater and Sholzar Basin are maintained by pylons, created by one of the Titan Watchers, Freya. They protect the locations from the Scourge and keep the climate the same. When the Karaji fought the Night Elf army through Ungoro Crater, something kept them from taking the land. They said they were unable to take the god's land, most likely referring to Freya. Sholzar Basin seemed to have been a test location where the Titans could experiment with other forms of life. There is a gate in Sholzar that takes you to a similar gate in Ungoro Crater, possibly used to transport the dinosaurs from Sholzar to Kalimdor. So maybe there were no experiments done in Ungoro Crater. The crater might just be a host location for the dinosaurs from Northrend. Whether dinosaurs have a society or are communicating with each other is hard to figure out. In Sholzar Basin, we find King Crush. In Eco Dome Farfield, we find Tarantus. And in Ungoro Crater, we find King Mosh, making you think that the dinosaurs actually have a leader, and maybe a bigger mindset than you'd expect. We also find dinosaurs in Netherstorm, one of the Eco Domes named Eco Dome Farfield contains nearly only dinosaurs in a climate similar to Sholzar Basin. The way the Eco Dome is powered is also similar to the pylons found in Ungoro and Sholzar. From what we see, dinosaurs weren't born on Azeroth, rather brought there, or created by the Titans specifically. Nearly all the other creatures on Azeroth derive their origins from an ancient, yet there are no ancient dinosaurs. The dinosaurs in Azeroth seem to just adapt to the climate wherever they live. Usually you can find them in climates similar to rainforest, with lots of trees and rain, but we also see them in the barrens. You can also find dinosaurs in dungeons, mostly in Wrath of the Lich King though. The trolls, or more specifically, the Drakari tribe of ice trolls, seem to use dinosaurs. In Drakthoron Keep, we have King Dread, a devil sword boss and also trolls riding raptors. As for why King Dread is a boss in this dungeon, and I quote Blizzard, <clears throat> T-Rexes are cool. No lore really, no purpose other than the urge to have a dinosaur boss dwelling in the corners of this dungeon. I'm serious too, it's hard to find a Drakari dungeon not having dinosaurs or any kind of beast-like creature. This is fitting because the trolls are worshippers, and especially the Drakari trolls, where we find dire horns, bone serpents, and other dominating bestial types. And the Drakari trolls seem to worship the so godlike creatures, dinosaurs. So much so, they create, ally, and fight with them. The Isle of Giants might have been a failed experiment in creation of even stronger creatures, but it got out of hand and the creatures took over the island. We also find the trolls working with the dinosaurs here. So, why are there dinosaurs in Old Draenor as well? I mean, it could be argued that all dinosaurs on Azeroth originated from Ungoro Crater, Sholzar, or the Isle of Giants, and then just migrated to other parts of the world. And even the dinosaurs on Outland can be explained by the same reasoning, only with the Eco Dome. But Draenor has none of that, and yet sports raptors all over the place. Well, that can be explained pretty simply. Dungeons and Dragons, arguably the forerunner of all games like World of Warcraft, sports dinosaurs among their normal fare. And the four-legged dragons with wings that WoW and several other games use is a model of the one that the makers of D&D created out of a Stegosaurus miniature. Historically, dragons are two or no-legged and resemble Waverines or Skyrim-esque dragons. Modern fantasy dragons are more based on dinosaurs than actual dragons from historical folklore. So, a lot of fantasy is just really grounded in dinosaurs, and that's why WoW has dinosaurs, because they're cool and a staple of fantasy world building just like dragons. And that's it for my dinosaur video. I'd like to thank Void Shrine for researching a lot of this video. Also, if you like this video, maybe you'll like some of my other dumb videos about WoW. Or if you don't really care about WoW, I have like five other YouTube channels that do different stuff you can check out in the video description. But if you don't like WoW, why are you even watching this video? And why would you still be watching to the end of this video during my spiel of my other work?